Hey guys, it's Honey here and I was tagged by Nays, Renee from Nays Place to do the Addicted to Blush tag. So your questions are down here, so I'm going to be looking down here. Hopefully this angle is a bit more, a bit easier to, a bit better than my favourites video was. Um, this tag was created by Kat from Kitsnitch, who is a fellow Aussie YouTuber who actually lives in Melbourne, so down that way which is actually south for me but hey you guys can't tell that um i will tag some people down below um but if you do want to do this tag let me know and i will um in the, let me know in the comments down below and i will definitely check that out there is like 10 i didn't count how many questions there are but they're all over here so let's just get started question number one what color blush best blush suits you the most I honestly think the really rosy kind of neutral tones I say we're wearing a candy pink blush but I do think the rosy neutral tones kind of suit everyone but color wise I actually do think a really nice like hot pink blended out really nice suits me well the rosy tones suit pretty much everyone um pressed cream or loose br blush um pressed powder blush Definitely, um, I do like cream blushes. Um, now that I've found a way to really use them that I like, check out my February favorites if you want to know about that. Um, but definitely, um, even if I wear a cream, I will always set up with a pressed blush. Question number three, what is your favorite shimmery blush? That is the Milani Baked Blushes, the regular versions. Um, my favorite one is um, Delicioso Dolce Pink. Delicioso Pink. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink blush with a lot of gold shimmer in it. It's really, really gorgeous. I love the Milani blushes. And with the sliding, I doubt you can actually see it. It's um, kind of like a drugstore dupe in my mind. To I, I like it better than the NARS Orgasm blush. It has a bit more pigment to it, I find. It blends out nicer, but there's definitely a lot of shimmer in it. Okay, question number four, what is your favourite matte blush? That is easy, that is my type exposed blush. I love this blush. It is the most gorgeous, neutral, rosy, everyday blush. And why is nothing swatching nicely today? And it is matte, so it's the kind of the gorgeous, kind of natural, everyday blush. I love it. Lots and lots and lots. Alright. Number five, what is the best cream blush? I actually really like the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes, which is not a common acceptance among the YouTube community. Um, again, um, I think it's the way like they're applied, like they need to be pressed into the skin to really get that um, pigment to come across. Um, this is the colour in fresh pink, just up here. But I do really like these, um, especially with the Beauty Blender. Question number seven. What is the best drugstore blush? That is definitely the Milani Baked Blushes. They have the best pigment for, for the price, absolutely. Wish they were more readily available in Australia. Um, this is one of their matte blushes in Delicioso Pink. Yes. I knew I had something with Delicioso in it. But they're um, extremely soft pigmented blushes. They are absolutely gorgeous. And they're definitely worth the price. Um, like I would pay more for them. They're incredible. I don't actually have like a lot of Australian brand like, drugstore blushes. I have an Australian... Uh, models prefer blush and NYX blushes, but they're the only kind of drugstore blushes I have. But I definitely think the Milani Baked blushes are incredible. Um, question number eight: What is your best high-end blush? Um, I'm going brands, not just blush in general. Um, I think it is a tie for me between the Benefit box powders. This is the one in Rocket Tour. The scent of these is beautiful. Again, they're beautiful, beautiful um, soft powders um, that have a gorgeous pigment to them. 
Um, so those and then the Tarte 12 hour blushes. I, I only have the one, but I definitely want more colours in these. Um, they're just beautiful. Um, they're both really soft, really pigmented, gorgeous products. Um, question number, I don't know what we're up to. The next question is best bright blush. And this is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in Plum Pop. This is the brightest blush that I own, the most pigmented blush that I own. And I'm just like going crazy. Like it's so buildable, but it's so blendable. I'm just going to show you like the intense swatch right there. I think these blushes are incredible. Definitely want to pick up more colours of this, um, the peach one specifically. Um, I really want them to actually release more colours in this because they have two kind of pinky ones, the plum pop and the um, berry pop or something. And then I want the peach pop and then there's like a ginger pop I believe. But there's only like four colours I think. You should definitely release more because they're super pigmented, super creamy. They feel like a cream blush. They're incredible. It's definitely my favorite like, bright blush. Like, Delicioso Pink is gorgeous, but this is, like, intense. All right. The next question is biggest blush disappointment slash regret. I'm trying to see what I have in here that might actually fit in that category. I guess it's more of a colour. Like, I don't have any, like, major disappointments that I still have in my collection. Oh, I didn't even think about looking at my blush palettes. Change my mind. The best bright blushes. Change my mind. Best bright blushes are sleep blushes. I didn't even think about these. Like... I love the Clinique blushes, but far out the sleep blushes are incredibly, incredibly pigmented. Um, I definitely should have. See, so, these aren't a regret, but I wish I'd picked up colours I'd wear more regularly. That's the thing, because I, I have the um, Sweet Cheeks palette, which is the super bright one from the Candy Collection. I have California, which is the all cream palette, which I definitely need to get out again because I haven't tried the cream these ones with my new technique. And then pink lemonade is kind of the most wearable out of the ones that I have, but they are super shimmery. So, like the pigmentation on it is incredible. Let me swatch one of the cream ones. <coughs> Like, even the creams are, like, ridiculously pigmented. So, yes. I kind of wish they had more wearable colours. I think that's, I don't know. I don't have a really big blush regret that in that sense. More kind of colouring-wise, I don't suit the um, orangey kind of corally brush blushes like luminoso at all like these do not work for my skin tone at all and what was the elf one candy coral that doesn't yeah similar color doesn't work with my skin tone okay next question is best blush best blush packaging i absolutely love the hourglass ambient blush packaging it is so sleek i love the kind of gunmetal color and the way it opens is just beautiful this is the one in mood exposure it's the only one i have again this is a beautiful like I'm running out of swatch space dusty like everyday color that really suits everyone it's beautiful i love it so yes let's get rid of these swatches on my arm while I tell you about my blush wish list. Now the only kind of brand that I really want to try their blushes is the um, Becca 
I really want to try the Becca blushes and the Makeup Forever blushes. But more it's, I want to try more colours of my favourite formulas of blushes. I want more of the Tarte Exposed blushes. Uh, not the Tarte Exposed, the Tarte 12 Hour um, and Amazonian Clay brushes so much. I love this formula and I want more colours of it. Um, and more of the Hourglass and um, the Clinique Peach Pop is on my wish list. Um, yeah, it's more colours rather than formulas. Um, Becca's Gyp Gypsy. The Becca Mineral Blushing Gypsy I really want and the um, Souffles. I'd really like to try those out. I think those would be really interesting. Okay, right. and the last question is your number one Holy Grail blush. All of my blushes died, like disappeared. I would go and buy Tarte Exposed. Like any day like these things take so long to use up any product and I'm starting to wear wear away at the kind of embossed bit in this center bit right here I love this it goes with any look it is so wearable I love this so much I could not live without this blush um who I tagged to do this video Amber F um, Meg's Makeup 8 Blush Beauty Lena 7623 Miley for Juicy Fashion 11. Do this video, just come back and share your love back with us. Um, Cherish from Pretty Pistol 86. Um, who else? Uh, Paige from Thrifty Beauty. All those project panners. I'd love to see your videos on your blushes. Kind of remember what you have, kind of. Um, like your favourite blushes and maybe that'll give you a bit more inspiration of things to use. I really kind of know what I want to put in my next makeup basket from doing this tag so that's pretty cool um give this video a thumbs up if you liked it click subscribe the buttons right here will keep you up to date on all my videos hope to see you on my next one comment down below if you guys do this tag i'd love to see it all right and i'll see you guys later